Hello, here we are talking to Mr. Who Reviews. Uh, today I'm doing South Park, Carmen City Hate Crime 2000. Yeah, I bet a lot of people were, or well, a few people, have had by this episode. In this, the girl summons the boys to a sudden race, and the boys seem to be all away because Carmen's big bomb gives them more speed. But with Tolkien, uh, let's keep on Captain Fat and Captain of course, uh, getting annoyed. Captain throws a uh, rock out. The guy's ahead. And he's knocked out and has to put a bandage over it. Or just some paper, no. Anyway, Captain seems to be in trouble with the Mr. Mackey and that, the Huey Tenson. But then the FBI. Comes in, Carmen saying the Carmen there committed a hate crime and to go to court. And the boys aren't really uh, worried about like actually Carmen going to jail, like they're coming to freaking race. Yeah. And the Democrat does that blame Carmen for being a racist. It's just not getting any proof. They did it or whatever. And the judge will say it sends him to jail till he's 21. So probably 13 years, as uh, Stanley Claus said. Yeah. And um, with Captain Gone, uh, the boys had to slide with the second death out of the kid. And step back and throw that uh, Clyde. And they keep uh, sucking him for his way, and he gets annoyed. And when Captain does come back, he just hugs him. And I could have worked on that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, funny. And I do like the Lady and Ro Lady and Rob uh, reference in this with the uh, Captain's uh, prisoner prison number being a uh, two four six zero one. Kind of good. And it's some a uh, romper stomper is kind of was well this type of prisoner that don't think uh, prisoners have their uh, friends. And uh, they kind of got the mess out of maniacs in this. Mm. And Rupert Sauber has kind of sneaked some stuff in for him for his uh, uh, cigarettes, which was bought, brought by uh, Sam Kyle, even though they, they also brought a cake with a file where he told Cameron and Pig Latin about it, which was now to kind of, kind of bring stuff back from his, uh, or to his cell. And just see how mad that Kyle gets is. And uh, they also brought some uh, some board game to Robert Stomper and he thought he was going to bring him out but he's only lying so can bring him in so uh, Robert Stomper starts to sit in front of the camera he's just crying and yelling for his mom and uh, thanks to, to uh, Tolkien's dad explaining stuff about hate crimes and uh, Dan, Kyle, and the token of talking to the governor and seeing how hypocritical hate crime is. The alien that Carmen uh, released, just uh, when he and Robert Stomper were planning to escape, about to escape, and they tried to do the whole thing with the one of them turned a leg and the other wanted to go, and I was taking the other person's private possession, but Carmen. Is this off? This is uh, ignoring all that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, and wonder if the boys' plan was to dress up uh, some bricks as a kid to uh, try to get. You're thinking there's bricks and they kill Kenny. Yeah. The the, the, the bricks and Kenny just fell to a uh, tree and the uh, fell off uh, the sled and they took on like a carbon. Just monologue him to himself while the race or before uh, when the race is going on. I have to use Rumper Stomper's uh, cleats or something or buckets. I don't know what they were. They throw the girls off course and as he killed some of them and they're only taken by a bear. Yeah. And the boys are saying I'm gonna take a Cameron bump around again. Cameron's saying I'm gonna take his friend scrounge again and when Pip says. Saying that here, Carmen's fat bum throws in her stone, so now uh, hit a, a British kid 
and I had a killer uh, uh, hate crime. So, uh, now let's just go on with Cameron Vision, Robert Somper, uh, pooping out Disney World, or Disneyland. I don't know. <laughs> this is a good episode, I'm just so that what the Democrats would do by blowing the not exactly hate crimes out of, the, out of the proportion for someone that they could be as bad as the Republicans. And the uh, the thing Carmen in jail is still satisfying. I don't know how he did a bullet in jail before. And you know he's been a psychopath in this, he does seem to Sympathetic since he did think uh, drones a rocket token was a big deal. I think how the thing that his token told the the government or the prison that he forgets Cameron to get get out of there. There's no how they something like kids. But they really need the girls to keep in mind that the boys about to raise and just call them names. And at one point they say the race is that it's gonna be on that Saturday, but at another time it's on Thursday. Did the day? Did this get confused with the days, or did they switch? I don't know. And the said seeing Clyde being harassed for being the back cave was a little funny. I didn't sound like Eric at one point as good as well, kind of like a um, and a future episode with Cat with a. Cobb's accused of being like Eric. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's a decent episode. Uh, next week, if you like the Super Friends, then you'll probably like the Super Best Friends. And, uh, might, might like David Blaine as well. And, the punk Eric Holt. Mm. Yeah, I would tell you to do that earlier, but. Anyway, that's it. I'm Sue. See you guys. Later.